anyone off the street, but others they trust. So that's, that's what Flat Club is doing. Flat Club is part of the uh, London Business School Incubator. Uh, funny enough, I got more questions about the London Business School Incubator than about Flat Club earlier, <laughs> so feel free to ask about it later. So. so in one sentence, what we do is Flat Club is developing an online marketplace, which basically means a website, to help alumni and students of top university, which is our niche market, I went short-term accommodation, as I said, from one night up to six months by leveraging existing social networks to create trust, which is kind of our secret sauce or what differentiates us. Um, yeah, with this sentence and, of course, the idea behind it, we will, earlier this year we won the TechCrunch pitching competition. And what do we mean by this secret uh, sauce? What's, what's make us different is that we, I'm as a host, when I post my own flat, I can select who will see it. It, unlike when I post it on Gumtree and everyone sees it, I tick the boxes and I select the people I already trust in my social network. So I'm not talking about a new social network like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, whatever. There are way too many social networks. Sorry for the football fans that uh, are going, going next. There are many, food, there are many social networks. We are not, we're not a new social network. We are looking where trust already exists. So who are you trusting, right? People who went to the same university with you, colleagues that guys who work with the similar companies to you, or not these, and you can just tick the boxes, friends and friends on Facebook, who are the people I'm selling, I'm trusting, and then only those people will see your ad. So why are we starting with the top universities? Because this trust already exists there, right? So we are very focused on, on leveraging that, and basically we can see some example of of apartment that were posted uh, during the last 15 months when, when we are alive, when we are alive. And, and being, yeah, I'll talk a bit more about why we are, we are focusing on a niche. So as I said earlier this year, we celebrated our first birthday. We are a real true startup. We started with two people. Today we are 12. I'm here with Arco Galan, who are digital marketing manager. Um, team of 12 from 10 nationality, very international team. Uh, I'm claiming that we are the most international startup in, uh, in London. <laughs> I don't see anyone here saying something else, so maybe we are. We grow from in our first year from five flats in London to 2,000 flats in 20 cities. We get hundreds of excellent reviews from guests and hosts who used Flat Club and really enjoy it. The 97% recommended to friends and family. And we even have a, a, low, a motto for our team about making people happy. So, so why, why people are using FlatLab and not, and not other services, right? Because I'm guessing for those of you who know the short term industry, the first question I should get is Airbnb? No? Have you heard about them? We yeah. have. So, Airbnb, <coughs> to those who don't know them, are a very big uh, player in the short term. Renting industry, they raised over 120 million US dollars with it. Um, so why are we different, right? How, how can we compete with them? I have two pictures of, I think, quite similar apartments, right? Can you spot the differences? No, right? So this one on the right. Oh, there's one pound difference. Sorry? There's one pound difference. Well done. <laughs> I have a price for you later. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Seriously, we do have a price. Now, right? So that's, that's Airbnb, that's the largest competitor we do. What are they doing? They are looking onto the market of vacation rentals. This is a well-established market that was started by, well, even before, but Home Away is one of the, the largest players in that industry that started it online. And what they do is they let everyone who has a vacation rental, who's a professional, who makes money from service apartment, to post it, right? So these are the most of the apartment there. are. What, what is on Flat Club? It's private people that rent out their own place when they go for two weeks to, to visit home because many of them are international students or alumni that still lives in a different country or travel very often or then they go to an internship or they go to relocation, exchange, all these people who are traveling but we, we want to find someone they trust. They don't end up using these platforms and we hear them all the time telling us. I, the first time I posted my flat online was on Flat Club. Why? Because I only want to have people I trust. A typical host on Flat Club would rather have his flat empty than rent it to someone he's not sure about. This 
amazing apartment is not about this. This amazing apartment is about maximizing return on investment and all kind of these big wars that are about making more money. That's, that's, that's how we differentiate from that. So why are we different? Three, three reasons why are we different. One is exclusive supply. We get apartments that you cannot then see in, in three other websites, right? Because these people are keep telling us, our host, I will never post it anywhere else because I want only the people I trust, not just anyone to stay in my place. We have lower cost of user acquisition, so they raised, Airbnb raised 120 million, Wimdu 95 million, HomeAway did IPO for 200 million, lots of money. Yes, yeah, some of it going for acquisitions, one of them in London, but most, a lot of the money is going on Google advertising. So they compete there, and the bidding there, bidding with hotel, go to ridiculous prices. We look at it, we say, oh, that's impossible to, to maintain. That's, that's not something that will create any standard that makes sense. So we develop, because we are a niche player, a different way of doing marketing. We have a network of ambassadors that are based in over 30 universities and helping us spread the world within these universities and with their alumni network. We are working directly with the universities themselves that find us as the perfect solution for their short-term needs, for the students and alumni, and they spread the world for us. We do online advertising, but very, very focused. We know who is our customer, which is probably the biggest question for a startup, who is your customer? And so we know who is our customer, and we know where they are, and we manage by that to significantly reduce our cost of user acquisition. And the last, last factor which is important is that we have a community. Right? Someone earlier asked me about Imperial College, so I, we have a, I have an amazing story about someone from Imperial College contacting us uh, 10 days ago, asking us, hi, I'm looking for a flat for London, I'm coming to visit with my wife, and we need it for a week in, in June. Right? That's, that's very typical, we get these emails all the time. What was different about this man is that he was saying, I'm 76 years old and, I'm se and my wife is 72 years old. You're alumni of Imperial College, right? Alumni of Imperial College, 76, what, 50 years, 40 years ago? Still associated with that university. And that's the real strength of this model. Because it started, I'll, I'll be honest, it started as a service for students. We have more alumni using it than students. They like to be affiliated with these networks that they are now associated with. So we have high, already high in percentage of returning customers and very high loyalty. So what's next? Well, one of the reasons is that we are here is that we want to upgrade our platform. Um, we have a, a nice interface, but we want to make it amazing one. So we were looking for, for front-end developers or, or user experience uh, um, professionals who will join us and help us grow it. We're looking on, on time an aspect of the team, on geographical expansions, basically our customers all the time ask us, when are you going to have flats in uh, San Francisco and in Munich? Why? Because they want a place that they trust to find all of their solution for accommodation. So that's, that's where we are going geographically and we're expanding very fast and the last thing we do is, is join the team, so if anything is interested, as I said, first option is that, other option is, is around business development and we're also recruiting for customer service and sales. Before I ask if uh, you have questions, I'll just say that we have a table uh, as well outside and in the table we have our uh, keychain holders who have, that have three functionalities. Right? The first two are quite obvious. For anyone who gets me the, what is the third functionality, we're giving uh, 50 pounds travel money to spend on your phone. So come visit us later. Your questions, yes. Just more of a question, an idea than a question, really. Have you looked at um, allowing people to sort by regiments as well? Because the same kind of camaraderie, if you've been in Paris, for example, then you have a similar affinity and a similar association with other people that have been in the Paris, even if it's a different generation, right? Yeah. So your model would very easily roll out to um, you know, uh, divisions of the police, um, you know, civil service departments. Um, you know, large employers, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Within so an alumni network. Exactly. That, that's exactly what, what we are looking. I mean, we are now looking to penetrate the market through this uh, uh, niche of, of top university students and alumni. Why? Because the need is bigger there, because the trust exists, but we are already all the time look on other networks where trust exists and how can we use their existing marketing channels in order to spread the world and spread to these networks. So, as I said before, what's next is more networks and more countries. So finding these places where trust already exists instead of trying to reinvent trust. 